Hello, I'm Andrew, and today I'll be going over the SBDX SBOM Generation Tool. This is a command line tool, which can be used for multiple different package managers for different code bases such as Go, Python, Java, Ruby, etc. For starters, I'll be running this tool over a Java Maven project called Dubo. Specifically, it's an API component. To get it set up, all you need to do is just get it installed on your machine. You don't have to actually integrate it with a project you're working on. You just need to get the tool installed. So in regards to installation, there's generally two different ways you can do for installing this tool. First is you can just grab one of these binaries and then just place it in the root directory of your folder. Or what you can do is just type in this command via Windows PowerShell, assuming you're on Windows, and then that will download already. I already have the tool installed, so we're just gonna run it and see how it works. Um, so to run it, generally you'll just want to call the executable itself which is spdx sbom generator and then there's different parameters you can use and then you can see all those different parameters that you're able to apply via the help option which is dash h and so what we'll want to just do is if we just want to generate an sbom plainly default format being spdx as in the spdx file format we'll just run it here and so basically what it does is since this is a java maven project it'll pretty much just scan all the dependencies that i have listed in this project's pom xml file and so it'll just go through that and then just make an sbom out of that okay so now once this is generated you can see it in the same directory that you have the spdx sbom generator executable in this is the sbom that got generated like i said it's an spdx file format generally if you do want in json format json format is available for generation in this tool if you want to do that you can simply just type in that spdx sbom generator and then just do dash f and then json and then it should generate in json format once we have the sbom you can look at the data here pretty much what's at the top is the stuff related to the exact file you generated such as what version of the generator you used the license document id document name when it was created etc and down below is details for each package that's included this is essentially each material within or imported each material or imported dependency within your software project so like I said it's package name that's pretty common as well as version supplier what's interesting is is it also includes a download location so it actually goes out to reach for that final anal files analyzed false checksum this is generally a hash algorithm so this is pretty much like the file hash that's used in the package as well as the hash code and then some other stuff such as home page licenses copyrights the reason why these are at no assertion is generally because the tool wasn't able to retrieve the info for these it could possibly be be because either a they just don't exist or b there was just some sort of limitations with the tool itself in that case it was just not able to grab that type of information um since this tool generally typically runs locally it doesn't exactly run remotely to just grab like any remote information regarding you know websites or licenses or whatever this information is typically going to be no assertion and then we'll see for relationship info so no packages imported remotely will include this but any packages imported locally will be included in for the relationship settings pretty much what this includes is your root software packages included as a package as well and it'll include any package that's imported locally on your machine as a relationship as well so that's pretty much what relationship generally means and then down here you can see additional info for the other packages that are included in the palm as well and that's pretty much like the same type of info overall this tool has the potential to be extremely useful especially to those who favor the spdx format of best palms a single all-in-one execute executable tool such as this can be extremely useful and easily transferred between environments especially with support for various operating systems it's universal with different package managers, which makes this a simple tool for multiple code bases.
Although, however, and this is an important note, it is still in the development phase. So it would be advised not to fully rely on this tool at the moment. There could be some issues with generating SBonds for specific use cases and projects. If you want to see more demos from us, feel free to check out our website at learnsbomb.com. And once again, thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.